Right guys, how are we doing? Welcome back to another video and welcome back to another episode of Rugby Player Reacts to the NFL's Top 100 Players of 2021. Today, we're focusing on none other than rookie sensation tackle Tristan Wirfs. I saw him come through the draft. I saw him get picked up in the first round. In fact, I believe he was possibly even in the top 10. Top 10 of the 2020 NFL draft. Straight in there. Boom. 20-year-old, rookie, thrown in the starting lineup. Not only that, wins a Super Bowl. So I tell you what, as far as NFL rookie seasons go, you can't have much better of a rookie season than Tristan Wirth's had. And I dare say, most of that is due to his own efforts and his own belief, and also due to his family's belief in him. Because believe it or not, due to me making a reaction video to Tristan Wirth, in college, I was actually contacted by a member of his family that was thanking me, you know, if nothing else, just thanking me for, you know, giving my time and effort uh, into their family member, Tristan Wirth. So I'm not going to say who it was. Um, they didn't want to be mentioned. But I have to say that, you know, Tristan Wirth is definitely always, always going to be a name in my head, not only for the fact that I, you know, did look him up in college and, and did see him throughout the draft but also because a member of his family has actually contacted me so that's pretty damn cool and here we are he's made the list if nothing else i do know he's got a family a loving family that backs him to the hills so that's what i'm going to do anyways guys before we get into the video a quick word from our exclusive video sponsor the ridge wallet sup guys first and foremost thank you for clicking on this video secondly this video is brought to you by none other then the Ridge, makers of the world famous and now YouTube famous, at least on my channel, Ridge Wallet. In less than two seconds, I'm going to show you exactly what the hype's all about. Next minute. That's what it's all about. This wallet holds just as much as this, yet this one is bulky, ugly, and outdated. Now this one, being that it is a Ridge Wallet, holds 12 cards, it's sleek, it's stylish, it holds cash. There's over 30 different styles, including this one, which is matte black, and this one, currently unopened, which is 18 karat gold. Not only does the look and design speak for itself, but the packaging is next level also. And when it comes to giving a gift, when it comes to even gifting yourself, when you deserve it, of course, that's a win. The whole entire wallet is the exact size of a credit card, and the way that you access the cards is to push up from the bottom. Let's be honest, 40,000 five-star reviews, they don't lie. There is a lifetime warranty on each of these wallets. If, for whatever reason, you're not happy, you have a 45-day window to receive a full refund. I've got to be honest, at first I was skeptical. I have seen it advertised on other YouTube channels, YouTube channels I respect, actually, and enjoy watching. So it was only a matter of time until I tried it out for myself. It's not only wallets. The website does have an entire range of products designed to carry less and live more. And that is a quote that I've actually lived by for years. Head over to www.ridge.com slash Jacob. Use code Jacob for 10% off. And I guarantee you, this will be, whether it's in black or 18 karat gold, the last wallet you'll ever use. Guaranteed. Because there's no way in the world I'm going to be carrying something like this round anymore. Cheers, guys. And enjoy the video. Before we get into this, we'll check out his wiki. We'll get some stats. And then we'll continue. He played college football at Iowa. He's 22 years of age, he's 6 foot 5, and he's 320 pounds. He got picked up in the first round of the 2020 draft, but he wasn't in the top 10, like I said. He was actually picked number 13. Buccaneers, Super Bowl champion, Big Ten Offensive Lineman of the Year the year before, all rookie team uh, in 2020, and, and number 89 on the list. Uh, a 4.85 second 40-yard dash. And a 36.5 inch vertical jump a 10 foot 1 inch broad jump and 24 reps on the bench press. This guy's 6 foot 5, 320 pounds and he's jumping 36 inches. But not only that, thinking back, I have seen a, a clip of Tristan Wirfs doing a, a box jump, something like 60 inches with about 60 pounds of weights in his hands. It's ridiculous. Actually, I'm pretty sure he's played basketball and I'm pretty sure he's had somewhat of an athletic career. In fact, as we look at his high school career, he, he not only played football, but he won a state wrestling title and won the discus and shot put for three years straight. He was honored by Des Moyners Register as the best boys prep athlete in the state. 
as a freshman in college, he started seven games at right tackle, becoming the first true freshman to start as, start as offensive tackle. In college, before his sophomore season, he was suspended for the opening game after an OWI arrest. Now, what's that? Operating while intoxicated. Well, we've all been there. Um, after his sophomore season, he broke the Hawkeyes' hand-clean record held by Brandon Scherf, setting the, re setting the new mark at 450 pounds. He also said a focus of his junior season would be to translate his weight room exploits to the field. And it looks as if he's done that and more. All right, let's go. The one thing that had got me with him, I seen him jump out of a pool. Like, just jump straight out of a pool. Oh, yeah, fuck, I remember seeing that. That, <laughs> that is ridiculous. Now, this is a different style of box jump. Uh, jumping out of a pool, which is even harder than with weights in your hand. This is This is some crazy style of training, man. For a guy that big, you wouldn't actually be able to fathom how impressive something like that was until you saw it in person. And I've never seen anything like that in person. When land, I was like, man, this guy right here, like, he different. His whole body was out of the pool. He was such a freak of nature. You know, even though that don't mean nothing as far as being on the football field. Look at that. I mean, when you can do stuff like that, you got something that's God-given that he didn't give a lot of other people. God-given, all right. Tough opening day, you gotta protect Brady as a rookie. No pressure. Having he thrives on pressure. Tom Brady look over your shoulder could be daunting for a rookie, but not for Tristan Wirfs. The block for the goal? Oh man. If Tom Brady was on my team, I would I'd be all over that. But no, what a special kid he is, he had a great year. Blocking for the goat. Bobby T! If Wirfs felt pressure having to block for Brady, he didn't. <laughs> How fucking cool would that be? He's about to get a tap on the helmet from the GOAT, Tom Brady. Show it. But that wasn't his only challenge in the 2020 season. Well, this last year we had a lot of great pass rushers on the schedule. I think he would have been going against Cam Joy and Chubb, Zadarius Smith. Wirfs more than held his own his rookie season, allowing only one sack, which included shutting out a premier pass rusher like Cameron Jordan, a six-time member of the top 100. Well, hopefully we get to hear from Cameron Jordan, because that's one face I've been missing so far. Jordan was held sackless in his three matchups versus the Bucks. Damn, that's some good work. Perennial top 100 member Joey Bosa wasn't even allowed a whiff of Brady by Wirfs. A nice job again up front. Tristan Wirfs. I had a chance to face him twice, and I did not get one sack on Tom Brady. No. Oh, see, we're seeing, like, we're seeing here what I'm going to interpret as a coil, a coil up of power, right, from the hips down. These big guys. They see a man coming, they're going to brace themselves, they're going to absorb the impact, and they're going to fucking, they're going to bang their feet in the ground and, and, and coil, coil up energy, right? So that eventually they can bring that opposing player to a dead stop. And that's exactly what we've seen here. And that is very, very impressive. Because not only you have to have that huge center of gravity, but you've got to be able to you know, move laterally too. I mean, these guys coming for the quarterback are not just going to try and bowl you over, especially if you're Tristan Wirfs. If they know they're not going to get through you, they're going to probably try and get around you. So I'm assuming running a 4.8 second 40 yard dash, that speed and agility has now transitioned over to the field. Prove to a lot of people what type of player he really is. Um, help that team get to a Super Bowl and actually win it. I feel like he's going to be dominant in this league. Man, he probably like the best right tackle in the NFL. I haven't been around the league for so long, but he got first ballot, like Hall of Famer talent, man. If he keep going and stay healthy, because he, he's most definitely the real deal. Tell you what, no wonder his family's proud. Anyways, guys, that's that. In the next one, we're looking at Shaquille Barrett, a fellow Buccaneer. On the opposing side of the ball, he plays linebacker. So guys, thank you once again for watching. Thank you for the support. Hit the like button if you have enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. And I'll see you in the next one.
Peace out, guys.